वेलकम टू ईगल एजुकेशन दिस इज शेखर मेटला सॉफ्टवेयर ट्रेनर टुडे टॉपिक पॉलीमोर्फिजम व्हाट इज पॉलीमोर्फिजम व्हाई वी रिक्वायर टू यूज अ पॉलीमोर्फिजम वाइल इंप्लीमेंटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग वे द पॉलीमोर्फिजम इट्स वन ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द ओप्स कॉन्सेप्ट वेर वन फॉर्म वी विल राइट अ फंक्शन और मेथड मेनी टाइम्स वी आर कॉलिंग टू रीयूजिंग the same function or same method by changing the data items we are keep on calling that is the way we are using polymorphism in implementation in python language we'll see more details in python video session watch it hello welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial i am going to teach you about polymorphism in oops concept of object oriented programming language a python we will discuss about polymorphism polymorphism is an ability to use a common interface for multiple form data types like uh, i have uh, assumed that uh, bird is an uh, like a uh, class if i defining is an a bird there is an a uh, different different uh, uh, properties are there for the bird as an attribute you can assume it or behavior of the bird there is a different different we can say that and two types of birds like one is a bulbul bird and one is an ostrich these two birds are having what are the having flying flying is common for birds whereas we can remove the duplication of the code and we are implementing two birds methods and we are calling a same common function to utilizing these two methods from the class objects how we will see in the polymorphism manner let's start with the class declaration as in bulbul bird class bulbul the first name we have to write as in a capital for class name we can identify it is and uh, function definition we can say that uh, fly sorry fly all right and uh, take in a parenthesis go here yes now if the the that what what is this it's an a fly method in the sense i am going to take in a print of i can say that this fly the bulbul is can be fly so bulbul can Like right. I'm writing in a simple text message over here, and one more method for bulbul, right? One more method I have implementing here for. This is a uh, swim. It can be swim. And now cell print is bulbul. As I'm assuming simply, bulbul can't swim. Bulbul cannot like the con swim. Assuming and writing one class with two methods of fly and swim, that bulbul bird will having the properties. And uh, one more class I am initiating for uh, uh, another ostrich. Yes, T R I ostrich T R I T H yes ostriches. it just bird what it will do the third you can take and terminate it right one more class i am declaring over here uh, just a second last one get the class name here i am declaring one class name and now here it is in a ostrich i am calling here and um, there is a the same thing will be repeated in this class of copy straight away i'm copying and modifying here paste can be fly now ostrich the name i'm taking it as straight away copy the saving the time paste ostrich is it fly it can't and it can swim ostrich can swim assuming ostriches can fly and ostriches cannot swim all right Over two classes, I have implemented. Here. 
one is the bulbul function uh, method and one is the another words like two methods and uh, here if i called instantiation of uh, some instantiation like a uh, blue color bird i can assume it and uh, method i'm instantiating initiating here and calling bulbul uh, what is what we can call it as object instantiation here and uh, calling this top class that bulbul and now see here in when the blue dot what is here fly and swim i can take fly or i can take swim and first i am testing the fly see here see, bulbul can fly have you seen see bulbul i am instantiating this first class and i am taking the method of bulbul function is in a blue bulbul the fly is coming you are familiar with this till now i hope and now in advanced what i want to see here that i want to prepare for a common function to calling these these two classes all right now here i am declaring one more function which is in a definition of the function here i am writing for like uh, flying test common interface i am declaring here like uh, flying score testing rs flying also it can it's, it's can be sub sufficient or else you can write uh, more elaborately and uh, word i am invoking here all right what i am invoking here it's a bird just simply bird i am passing the parameter and uh, here bird dot fly if i call the bird dot fly i sorry i parameter dot f l y method all right how it will be treated and how it will be called now see i am calling this method from there from here i am initiating fly like a bird we have a created one parameter over here now hence we need to call this function now it's in common interface i am preparing to call these two class objects and methods all the objects and all the methods functions whatever we call it as all right now common interface this is what i have prepared here for the like a flying test one more function and now i am calling this particular function by passing this parameter value you strongly remember it once we are instantiating an object and from there we are passing the parameters we can call it as from object we are initiating and transferring and calling the with the values it is an arguments most of the developers and programmers they don't know what is it they may all may treat it as a parameter and variable we can call it as an arguments from the function where is initiating from the object whereas if we declared as in a variables over here with the methods names with the name of the method parameters we can call it as in a parameters here we go how to call a common function now now see here i'm calling simply uh, like a fly flying test bird flying test bird the color of the bird is blue i am transferring here what i am transferring here this particular method i am transferring like a blue okay now we will see here what it will be called the instantiation is here and uh, this is the blue i am forwarding here to calling that particular method what it will be to we'll see now now see bulbul can fly it can be now i can comment this line now you will get in a good understanding for calling common function for this now execute bulbul can fly is it and uh, one more method i am initiating here like uh, this is the name i can copy paste here and uh, i can say that yes simple name str this variable if i pass with the common function fly in like flying not all right 
going underscore test of the parameter austri if I forward it. It's not underscore, it's not hash. Now it is execute. It is executed. That means check it. The common method what I have implemented here, I am passing the word name. The name of the this one or the function name or word name or a swim. You can send it. I'm calling straight away. The bulbul can fly and the ostrich cannot fly. The first function it is going to be calling. Simply. All right. If you like similarly, you can customize the methods and you can pass the parameter variable. That particular function will only be callable. This is what we can call it as in a many types, many forms. In this the same function, we are changing the type of this uh, variable or function name under data type, different different types. We are forwarding to calling the same method. Like uh, this is the method constructor, and we are calling able to handling this all the call objects instead of uh, using different different declarations. That exactly what we call it as in a polymorphism. One more time, you cross check and uh, verify the coding, how it can be possible to write on a polymorphism. You will have a good idea about it. I hope it will be helpful to you. Thanks for watching Eagle Education. Please do subscribe like share and comment for more details if any required regarding this tutorial watch the below description where my contact details are available thank you